another uh, another video out here for y'all. Man, it's cold as hell out here, I tell you. Whew. But anyway, I'm going to get you a video. I'm going to do another gear review. Um, this review is about tackle storage. Everybody's got their different types of tackle boxes and all their types of Plano boxes and all the other good stuff. Well, I picked up recently, not recently, last, about a year ago, Bass Mafia. They call them coffins. And I legitly, I mean, that <laughs> that's a good name for them because these things are heavy freaking duty, man. I mean, you could run these things over with a truck. I'm not even kidding. Waterproof. Um, red and black. I think they come out with a different a couple of them. You can get some that are clear. Um, they're less heavy duty than this. But, man, these things are ridiculous. These are like tanks, you know. You can see the rubber gasket goes around it. It's waterproof. Um, this is a crank box. See how deep that is? That is super deep. Super deep. These aren't all my cranks. These are just kind of like extras that I got sitting around. Um, now, they come with all these dividers, which is really nice. Um, like I said, heavy duty. Really heavy duty. Get that lip out of the way. Um, and I like the way your crank's sitting there. Easy to grab, you know. The lips out. They just kind of sit in there. Um, and it's a lot of room. You can put a lot of cranks in there. A lot of cranks. Except for if you got something like this behemoth right here. Look at that bad boy. That's a big one right there, buddy. Um, a guy that's not in business anymore, Ishwish Lures, he custom painted that one for me. Um, and I love that jig. Or not jig, <laughs> jig. I love that, uh, that bait there. That is really awesome. Um, but they got a number of these boxes. Um, that lip keeps getting in the way. There we go. They got a number of these boxes. All different types of sizes. Um, but the only thing is, if you don't have a boat to put these in, I find that they're kind of cumbersome to lug around. Um, I mean, this is a big box. I mean, something like this should have like a handle or something going for it. Um, but put them in your kayak, man, this just adds a lot of weight. Um... I do have a smaller one that's sitting around here somewhere for all my top water baits. It's a skinnier one. They have a terminal coffin, um, all that stuff. But Bass Mafia boxes for their money. I think this one was like $55 for this. I mean, if if you got a boat and you're really looking to protect your tackle and make sure no water gets in it, the only thing is before you put your tackle in here, if you've been using it, make sure it's dry first. It, it, it's going to do nothing but trap moisture in here. So, definitely, you want to do that. Um, but, yeah, it just it just seems they're, they're, it's really cumbersome. They're really heavy, um, but they are they're, they're serious. This is a serious box right here. But, yeah, Bass Mafia boxes are good. I like them. They're just too heavy. Um, I, that's really what's kept me from buying more. They're too heavy. They're too cumbersome. I'm a big kayak tournament angler guy. I like fishing out of a kayak. And it's just too much to put in a kayak. It really is. And that's why I like fishing in a kayak. It's minimalist. You really get to know your baits. You get to know your water. You don't have a huge array of stuff to uh go to when you're in a kayak you really have to know your conditions and know how to how to fish them um not saying that the guys in the boats don't i mean you guys are legitly i mean you just guys have a lot of stuff and there's just no way you can put that in a kayak um but that's my review on the bass mafia i mean if i was gonna rate it out of 10 out of a 10 overall i'd give it like an 8.5 because it's just too heavy they're too heavy. That's why I just keep it in the shop with come my extra stuff in them. Uh, ones that I want protected and stuff and that's it. 
But yeah, the Bass Mafia boxes. If you got a boat, this is for you. If you got a kayak, not for you. If you're pond hopping, not for you. <laughs> so there you go. All right, y'all. And uh, I believe I got a uh, link to. I think I might have a link to Bass Mafia on our um, Berkeley County uh, Bass Boy pit, uh, website. So if not, I'll put one up. I mean, they got a lot of good stuff. Um, like I said, I like the money bags. They're awesome. Bass Mafia is a great company. Um, and uh, I've recently put up Guggen Baits on the website. So it's a short, quick link to that. Guggen Baits, you guys are doing legit. I love your all's uh, Bandito bug. Uh, I use them for trailers. I use them for everything. But anyway, back to the Bass Mafia box. Heavy duty, you run over with a truck, you ain't got to worry any problems with that. Um, protects your gear real good, keeps the UV light off of your uh, off your baits um, from fading them. Um, I know there's a lot of baits out there now use UV resistant paint, but I mean it helps with that. It's just heavy. Um, the price point is crazy, fifty five dollars for just one box. Fifty five bucks. But um, I'm not sure if they've come down in price since then or not. I haven't seen them on the shelf. Um, so, I don't know. I like their little clear boxes. If I had one sitting around, I'd get it. It's just like a regular Plano box, but it has a gasket around it. Those are real nice. You can check those out. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, that's all I got for you. And if you guys haven't been to our website, go check it out. It's bcbassboys.weebly.com. And that's bcbassboys.weebly.com. Go check it out. Everything's on that site. Our YouTube, um, our different types of stuff that we, our different types of uh, equipment we like to use. We got all the links and stuff for that. And all our events, blogs, vlogs, got everything on there. So check it out, guys. And we'll talk to you later.